Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video and today we have the lovely Power Rangers Mighty Morphing Ninja Yellow Ranger which I do think looks kind of cool. This is a brand new head sculpt as well which again looks fantastic from what I can see but we're going to have a look. First of all you have this lovely window display. You have the two different heads, two hands and again another piece which will go on the, the hand. Now I kind of like the colour scheme already but again we'll have another look. On the side is Aisha, on that side she is in her ninja outfit, then we have it there, the top is yellow, and at the top bottom is the barcode. So if you like this sort of content and you want to hear and see more, hit that like button, hit subscribe, turn on all notifications, and with that let's jump straight into the review. And here is basically what you get inside figure, the two heads, the effect, and two hands. And here she is, here's Aisha in her ninja mode. And I kind of really kind of dig it. I really like yellow. I think the yellows work really, really well and it does stand out quite a bit. So we've got the standard mask, we've got then the bear icon. Uh, one thing I will kind of, I will check on the others, but it feels like the diamonds are being kind of like moved around, but they look like they've been kind of squished and not not the quality that I would expect. But again, it's, 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 it's absolutely fine. Um, bear icon, gold going down, and then we can see the top of a yellow sash. On the back, just in case I forget to talk about it, we have the kind of where it's all tied up there. Very basic again, we've got the diamonds, we've got the cuffs, we've got the hands, and then we've just got basic kind of ruffles in the actual material. And again, very briefly, we can see that you've got diamonds here, which look kind of okay, they kind of stand out, but that's pretty much it for that figure. On the back, we can see that you've got the laces, which we've seen from the other ones. And again, they've got the certain joints just there. Very basic. Again, we can see that you've got the lines there. Again, not really that bothered. And then again, we've got the gold coming into the sash. And then finally, again, as I mentioned, we have the kind of like where the material is tied up. So it looks like a ponytail. And again, we've got some creases around the head, which is in pretty much all of them. Looking at the figure, let's do the articulation test. Now that foot is very loose, which is not a good sign, but let's try bend the legs. I always hate the leg bendings because I feel like they never really get it right. So you can see that the legs are bent. Bring it back. Legs like that, legs like that. Now, the same, I really wish these figures like bent a bit more at the chest because it's all the, the torso. So arms go up. You can do, twist the hand around. Same thing here. Twist the hand around. Arm bends just like that. Arm bends just like that. Just like that, you can turn the head around as well. And we don't get much articulation at all. Let's now change the head to see if it works and if it's on the pull up. <laughs> as you can see, it's still on the ball joint. So we're now going to pop this one in. And you can see it's all right. I think it's probably one of the, the better ones uh, that we've got, but it does look pretty cool. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. You, obviously, you've got uh, the band across the top with the diamond. You've got the face. And again, it looks a, a lot better than I th thought it would do. And then kind of the final thing, I don't think it looks like Karen at all. I really don't think it looks like her. Um, but it's a nice addition. I kind of like the fact that it's a bit different. But again, I just don't think it lo looks like Karen. Like if we look at the back, the hair is braided, which is quite cool. I like the length as well. And you've got the ponytail and everything there. So I think it looks really, really cool. But again, I just don't think it looks like Karen. And there is Aisha. It's not a bad figure. I think it's maybe my favorite one in the entire Ninjetti range so far. Uh, obviously this is the end of the Ninjetti range because obviously we've now got every single Ranger. But I feel like a Green Ranger Tommy comes out randomly. But I generally kind of really like this figure. I don't know why, there's something about it. Maybe it's just because of the yellow that really kind of like stands out. Now I have put on another accessory. So the only ac other accessories that you get that I haven't mentioned is the other hands and then obviously the lightning piece, which I'm not a big fan of, but you could probably put it on there and that's what it would look like. 
but for this figure, I think it, it's all right. I don't think it could be any better. I think maybe a few more accessories would have been better, and that's with pretty much all of them. But for what we've got, it's all right. I just probably wouldn't say it's the, the best best, but it's my favorite one so far. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you like it? Um, have you got Aisha? Now, again, I don't feel like the price of the Ninjetti Rangers is just. I feel like it's a massive price hike compared to paying cheaper for the other figures and getting more with it or actually feeling that you get more with it. So I feel like this price of £30 for a figure where you barely get anything is not worth it. But I know a lot of people want to get this figure and that's cool. So let me know if you've got this figure. Let me know down below in the comments. And I'm going to leave it there. What do you think? Let me know down below. And with that, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, like, favorite, comment and subscribe. And if I don't see you tomorrow, then I'll see you in a couple of days. チャンネル以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。